Today, uh, we report uh, 683 new cases here in British Columbia, uh, including two epidemiologically linked cases, bringing our total number of cases of COVID-19 to 51,983. That includes 105 people in the Vancouver Coastal Health Region, 447 people in the Fraser Health Region, 11 people in Vancouver Island, 64 people in the Interior Health Region, 36 people in the Northern Health Region. I will say that there has been some over-reporting due to a, a, a data system change from Northern Health, and those numbers will be reconciled over the next few days on the dashboard on the BC CDC website. Um, but the numbers for today are 36 new cases. That gives us 7,803 active cases now in British Columbia. Uh, of whom 374 are in hospital, 76 people in critical care or ICU. We have uh, a little over 9,364 people under active public health monitoring. And again, uh, due to the data system change in Northern Health, we're still catching up with those numbers. We also have 42,129 people who have recovered from COVID-19. In the last day, we have had eight new deaths from COVID-19 across British Columbia uh, in the Fraser Health and the Northern Health Region, um, bringing the total number of people who have died in 2020 from COVID-19 to 901. 901 of our family, our friends, our neighbors, our community people. And our deep condolences go to all of the families who have suffered losses this year all of the care providers and our communities who mourn with you. We have uh, three new healthcare facility outbreaks at the Williams Lake Seniors Village, the Ridge Meadow Hospital in uh, Fraser Health and Langley Memorial Hospital Long-Term Care also in Fraser Health. And uh, two outbreaks have been declared over at the Saanich Peninsula Hospital in uh, Vancouver Island and the Bamfield Pavilion outbreak in Vancouver Coastal Health, leaving us with 52 active outbreaks in long-term care and nine in acute care, and uh, involving 1,412 uh, residents and 733 staff. In addition, the Bighorn Hotel community outbreak has also been declared over. On a positive note for our vaccine update today, to date, as of yesterday, we had uh, provided immunizations for COVID-19 to 17,510 people across BC in every health authority and every health region. And uh, they have all received uh, both the, the Pfizer vaccine and as of the last two days, we've also had Moderna vaccine, the second vaccine which has been approved for use in Canada. And that has been um, increased our ability to expand immunizations even further. And on a very positive note, we've had the first immunizations in some of our more at-risk remote and rural communities, including um, some uh, uh, of our First Nations communities across British Columbia and it's a very happy moment for all of us to be able to protect the elders and seniors in these communities. As has been the case since the start of this pandemic, the fewer faces and bigger spaces that we are in, the better. That means less risk for all of us. And right now, we have been trending in the right direction for the last few weeks, although the increase today reminds us that we are still in a very precarious situation. And we can only look around us, whether it's other jurisdictions here in Canada, around the world, our partners to the south, where we see this virus continues to wreak havoc and to cause illness and death. As the new year brings a fresh start for all of us, we must start 2021 in the right space on the right foot. And the only way we can get there is for all of us to continue to stay small and stay local, particularly for our New Year's Eve celebrations tonight. Yesterday, we met, I rem, amended an order to ensure that places like restaurants and bars and, and liquor stores stop serving or selling alcohol at 8 p.m. 
The rationale behind this step is simple. Alcohol, as we know and as we have seen far too many times this year, limits our inhibitions. What can begin as a quiet dinner with our household or a drink with a friend can too easily get out of control. And sadly, we have seen that happen even in the past few weeks. When that happens, rules can be forgotten and uh, servers and restaurant staff are the ones who must enforce these rules for the safety of everyone, including the staff. I have heard, unfortunately, about holiday celebrations being planned, some for several hundreds of people. And I've heard from many who work in BC's restaurants and bars who were worried about their ability to manage those situations, particularly on a night like tonight when there was a build-up for a number of these occasions. I recognize absolutely that these restrictions are yet another challenge the restaurant and the food service industry has had to face in what has already been a very tough year. But two hours now is necessary for us to manage a situation that is going to be lasting for many more weeks. We have worked very hard to make sure that restaurants are able to operate safely and they have done that over the last few months when in jurisdictions all around us, they have been closed down for in-service. We know that they can operate safely and that we can use and, and benefit from them. But right now, we need to hold the line. And that's make, to make 2021 a brighter year for all of us so that we can get back to full business for everyone as soon as possible. I am confident the small step that we took will help us start the new year on a healthier and safer note. I also think it's important to look back on the year and realize what we have accomplished by working together, that we can all still celebrate in a smaller way tonight. I know that some people's plans have changed for this evening. One of my team members, for example, canceled her 915 reservation for dinner at her favorite local restaurant but she and her partner are now going there on Sunday instead and spending tonight at home. And I would encourage all of us to think about that. It's not just about tonight. It's about supporting our local businesses, our local restaurants, our local um, pubs over the coming weeks as well. As we've done a lot to keep our restaurants open safely, it needs to be more than just tonight. Many of us will be ordering our favorite meals in, myself included. Others will be having games nights in with their households or celebrating with friends from around the world through a virtual party. Whatever your plans may be this evening, please remember how important it is to follow the public health orders and restrictions. The actions of a small group of people, as we have seen before, can have consequences. Not only for them in the form of potential fines, but also, as we have seen, with people ignoring orders. But also for the majority of people who are doing the right thing every day to keep their neighbours, their families, their communities safe. By staying local, keeping our circle small and following provincial health orders, I know we will start this new year on the right foot. 2020 has been hard on us. It has been hard on all of us. And this is no consolation for those many who have lost loved ones to COVID-19, to the overdose crises, for those who have felt lonely in isolation or lost employment or a treasured business. At the same time, COVID-19 has shown us in BC that we can make a difference and bend that curve when we work together with a common goal. My hope is that by this time next year, we can look back at the sacrifices we made, big and small, and know that we made it out of this pandemic together by staying apart, by connecting remotely, and by following the rules. Every time you choose to do the right thing, you are potentially saving a life. This includes how you choose to spend your New Year's Eve. Let's turn the page on 2020 in the best possible way. COVID-19 may define 2020, but it will not define us. As we came together in adversity in BC 
in the face of this global crisis, what will define us is how we did that in kindness, with compassion and caring for each other, and with resilience. I wish everybody a happy and a safe new year, and may 2021 bring us all more certainty, more happiness, and health. And may we continue in the way that we have by getting through this together, being kind and being calm and being safe. Thank you.